Astrotometry log, it is July 25th, 2010. It's approximately 2113 UTC. I just received a message from one of my subscribers who is very concerned about this disturbance in the solar corona. And I wanted to follow up with a, um, a sort of watch, sort of earthquake watch for around 33 degrees north. And I've been watching this disturbance and right now we're seeing the geomagnetic storm um, from this disturbance come in and unfortunately the x-rays have been decreasing over the past four days and they're still very very low and according to the model that means that the times in which these movements have to occur are limited and so it's a sort of unusual time because we have this spot um, and normally when you see a spot that's this size the x-rays are a lot higher and for some reason uh, solar cycle 24 uh, seems to be still very very um, sort of puny this is a, a 40 um, a 40 sunspot count uh, in the wolf in the wolf numbering system, uh, I think for today, and so this sunspot group is not producing uh, the expected amount of energy in the higher frequencies, and so in previous videos I've mentioned that when the solar cycle starts up, that these events are going to be much more difficult to forecast because of these issues of the changing um, X-ray um, emissions because of the the increase in the number of sunspots. But that in mind, keeping that in mind, um, since the SOHO uh, feed is, is baked out, there's a CCD bake out in the so SOHO feed, um, we can move over to the SDO. Um, that was, usually I look at the 195 angstrom Im images in SOHO and the problem with looking at the SDO images is there's not a history and so I don't have a I don't have a good idea um, I haven't been watching this for well, any longer than it's been up and so I don't really have a good feel for how these disturbances map to the actual events because there's just simply not a history and so this is looks like a, a fairly significant disturbance so here we go we've got this uh, disturbance this part forms first this lower part that's down around the equator, maybe a little bit above the equator here, um, forms. And then there's a part that forms up here, uh, a little higher. And I always look at the rate at which these form in order to try to uh, discern how much of a, of, of a quake there's going to be. And this forms fairly quickly. The, these, these form fairly quickly. and so we saw the the quakes associated with these already and then now we have this forming and this is um, something that someone in California has uh, asked me about and looking at what's what's happened so far with the uh, seismic disturbances associated with these uh, features and again considering considering that we have this um, sort of wild card down here um, this, this feature is, um, it looks fairly consistent. In other words, there's an issue about the composite nature. And so this, if you look at the, the solar equator, if you say that this is a solar equator, uh, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, about 30, uh, th 33 degrees, 34 degrees north, um, is where this would be expected. Now it's possible that the, since it's composite, that this doesn't have to be in the same region. But usually when you see something like this, these are in the same regions. And if you look at the earthquake list, we already, uh, we already sort of know uh, where uh, this is going to be. Because in, if you look at the, the earlier stuff, we had something down in Indo Indo Indonesia, and then some stuff in the Philippines, some fairly significant stuff in the Philippines, and then we have this thing farther north. This would be starting doing this in real time here but this would be the event in the Philippines um, this one was the one that opened up first and then we probably have one that's forthcoming farther north 
this part and then this part is still sort of outstanding. And if you look at the area, this area, we had this part down here in New Guinea that we've already seen here. And then we come up over here in to Indonesia. This is something we saw. And then we have this big this big activity here in the Philippines, which could correlate which could correlate with that um, that other chunk that's off to the right. But the indication is that this event is going to be um, somewhere up here, um, maybe in the Himalayas. Uh, there's been uh, some activity in Bhutan and possibly over um, in Afghanistan or Iran. And so well, probably 33 degrees north, uh, but probably not um, North America. It's possible. This is this is highly speculative science. This is uh, st something that's still very much in in the process. We have been seeing activity over here in uh, the Caribbean and um, some stuff uh, here in in uh, along the New Madrid Fault that could correlate with with this activity. Um, and it could be, like I said, since it's composite since the the two the two halves are sort of folded over on each other it's impossible to say for sure that this isn't the area but the most likely area is the um, is Asia um, this the, the, these events seem to indicate that that Asia is the most likely uh, place for the rest of this to occur now the solar wind speed uh, has increased over the past um, several hours and it's getting up into sort of the storm, the storm, um, the storm strength, um, and the watch. I guess I will watch for uh, this northern event until this this wind speed gets back to normal.